Simplify rational expressions. The question is simplify and state restrictions. We have two rational expressions here. We'll simplify using factorization and then state restrictions. So let's do the first one, which is x minus 5 divided by 2x squared minus 10x. Now, the denominator has a common factor of 2x. So we can write this expression as x minus 5 divided by 2x. Now when you divide 2x squared by 2x, you get x. When you divide 10x by 2x, you get 5. So we have x minus 5. Now as you can see, when we simplify it, x minus 5 and x minus 5 are common factors. They cancel out and so we can write our simplified expression as 1 over 2x. Now the question is, is the expression x minus 5 divided by 2x squared minus 10x equal to 1 over 2x? Think about it. Well, here the restriction is that x is not equal to 0. How about this expression? In this or that, the restriction is that x is not equal to 5 also. x not equal to 0 and x not equal to 5. In fact, in the original expression, if I write x as 0, you will get 0 in the denominator and that is a restriction. So we say x is not equal to 0. Second, if I write x as 5, 5 squared is 25, 25 times 2 is 50, minus 10 times 5 is 50, also gives you 0 in the denominator, right? So the expression has two restrictions. One, x is not equal to 0. The other one is x is not equal to 5. Now that is a good reminder. So when you are simplifying, at the time when you cancel out the terms, you have to add the restriction here, right? You should say x is not equal to 5 as soon as you cancel out a term. So that at the end, you know, it is 1 over 2x where x is not equal to 5. Now when you look at this simplified expression, we have another restriction which is x is not equal to 0 also. So the function or the expression which we are working with has two restrictions. You should always write these restrictions before cancelling out. That's the whole idea. Okay, so remember that part. So don't forget to include 5 amongst the restrictions. Okay, so let's do the next one. Now to simplify, as I said, is to find common factors, right? So 1 minus x in the numerator. Here we have x squared minus 3x plus 2. We can factorize. 2 times 1 is 2. We need minus 3 as a sum. So it should be minus 2 times minus 1. So we get x minus 2 times x minus 1 as the denominator. Now from here, we can write down the restrictions. So before you cancel, write restrictions. That is what I'll suggest. So the restriction says that x is not equal to 2 and it is also not equal to plus 1, right? Both the restrictions, correct? Now simplify. So when you simplify, you can cancel 1 minus x and x minus 1. Well, let me go one more step here. And that is 1 minus x indeed is minus of x minus 1. Okay, remember that. Now we get in the denominator x minus 2 times x minus 1. Now if you cancel, you get minus 1 in the numerator, correct? So it's minus 1 when you cancel this because of this negative sign. So you get minus 1 over x minus 2. So that is the simplified version with the restriction that x is not equal to 2 and x is not equal to 1. x can have any real numbers except for 2 and 1. I hope that makes things clear. Thank you.